Today I'm going to attempt to change the seals in my uh, Yamaha lower unit, especially that one, without pulling the gear case out. I've heard this is possible, but I've never tried it, so I don't know how this is going to end out. Now, what happened was last fall, when I changed the fluid in my lower unit, I, I got about a, uh, half a cup of water, just came out. Clean water looked like spring water. It had separated from the oil. So I made this little pressure checker, and uh, which I uh, just took one of the fill units and put a uh, compressor end on, and um, put about 10 psi in there. And I saw air leaking from both this this top seal right under the water pump. I mean, actually, air was hissing out of there, and oil was coming out of the bottom one. The top leak looked worse than the bottom one. So on Craigslist, there was a used one for sale. And the ad said, no chips, no water, and oil. So, uh, sure enough, I brought it home, hooked it up to my little pressure test, and it's leaking just as bad as the as mine. So they both leak. So uh, I'll show, I'm will i going to hook up the compressor and show you the leak. Okay, I'm hooked up to the compressor. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but there's air hissing out. You can actually see the spring is broken on that seal, so that's probably been leaking for a while. Uh, there's some air and oil spurting out right there as well. Again, the top one can't see it, but I can hear it. I can feel the air coming out of it. So, uh, there goes my compressor. Okay, the uh, the top seals in in here are pretty easy to take out usually. Uh, what, what I've done is take in the past is take the bolts out, then take something soft, you know, you know, squirt it up good with penetrating oil, give it a few taps to the left, a few taps to the right, some more squirts, and then um, then get some screwdrivers down behind and just pry it out. But what I thought I'd try to do, because but uh, but to do the bottom one you have to pull the casing out, which is can be a big deal in an old motor. Um, so I'm going to try to avoid that. But what I thought I'd do up here is I'll practice on this one. In place because if I damage this housing it's it's not a big deal they're much cheaper than that one and I'll be careful with the shaft I won't do anything that will risk the shaft I may actually take that out and then then try uh, working on those seals okay to in order to do this job I ordered some various things I thought I might need from Amazon I got a beautiful uh, slide hammer set and some seal pullers. I don't know what technique I'll use, but I uh, just wanted to have everything ready to be prepared. Okay, got the, the puller. And I'm supposed to be able to just work it behind the seal there and then pry it out is the idea. But it doesn't seem like it's going to get back there very easily. It's just uh, it's a little bit recessed, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on that. I mean, I could maybe try to get in there a little bit further, but I don't want to risk damaging that shaft. Yeah, uh, and <coughs> and the lower one, it's re it's set reset even more. So I think uh, this technique is is not gonna work. Okay, I've got the bolts up, and then as I mentioned, I need some. Taps. I don't know if you can see that, but basically tapping it, it's moving side to side. I could squirt it up good with the uh, coil, WD-40, etc. Now you kind of get behind there and sort of pry that out. It would help if I had two screwdrivers. Okay, got two screwdrivers. It's pry it pretty easy. Okay, looks uh, pretty clean down there, I guess. I don't see any rust corrosion, really. Okay, put away the lower unit for the moment. Got to clean some of this corrosion out. The bearing looked okay. Out. 
careful not to really try to damage the surface. Okay, I'm going to squirt this a little with my coil. People swear this is better than WD-40. I don't have enough experience with it to say for sure. Now normally, I would just remove these by flipping it upside down and tapping them out with a punch, but I'm going to practice trying to pull these, pretending that, again, that's the lower unit propeller shaft seals that are the ones that I'm the most worried about. Okay. Now I'm going to try this seal pour. I couldn't get it underneath, but I'll try to answer the question. If I could have got it underneath with the shaft still in place, Will this thing work to pry it out? This fulcrum is, is, is too long. It won't work, so I just got a little piece of wood to use. I also pry away a piece of the uh, rubber so I can get right in close to the steel. Let's see if this will hold it. I'm pushing pretty hard and then I don't feel a seal bludgeon at all. I was cleaning this up, and I know, and I saw that I put a pretty big dent in that seal, so I know I was putting some serious pressure on it. So I'm going to try this one more time before I get up. And what do you know? And it looks like, looks like that oil penetrated down there pretty good, except for just a few spots. So maybe the penetrating oil is the key. You can see a little dent there maybe where uh, the seal was, puller was pulling right there. So hey, if I could get it underneath, maybe it would work. This is a spring I think from the bottom, bottom one. So maybe I'll try the dent puller approach on the bottom one. Okay, cool. Okay, I've got the upper housing kind of held in a in my workmate. I've uh, screwed it to two pieces of wood underneath to kind of hold it in place. I'm going to drill a couple holes, put some screws in, and try the dent puller approach. And I want the I want this hole to be as close to the edge as I can get it, so I'm going to kind of push it with this drill, push the bit over as much as I can. Got uh, cobalt bits which go through stainless very nicely. Okay. Okay, and now I got two different screws I'm going to try. Uh, that was a 7 16 drill bit. I've got a stainless steel number six screw and a threaded uh, number six screw that's not stainless steel. Okay, my slide hammer has an attachment that I can screw into uh, the vice grip and then grab these screws with the vice grip and pull out with the slide hammer. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Alright, we're going to give this a try, see what happens. So, at least proven to myself that I can pull the seals out with either the dent puller or that seal pulling tool, provided I can get the seal pulling tool in. Okay, and here is the here's the seal, the two screws. Didn't seem to matter which screw I use, they both work fine. And uh well, 
ready to try it on the, the prop seal. <laughs> that was not Mario, that was a sea captain. That was a sea captain explaining how he suddenly ended okay, up Okay, I'm just trying to clean up some of the corrosion inside of the From the uh, Italian cruise ship. Yes, indeed. Yeah. 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 I'll just yeah. clean it out with WD-40. Get the new seals in. Uh, and replace Chris that over. Personally transformed a lovely cruise off in the disaster movie. But he is making up for a sense with his sense of comic relief. The first uh, passengers were told that nothing was wrong with the ship, nothing, that the boat is not lying on its side. Most things that didn't happen, so they're kind of afraid that someone's going to unnecessarily create panic. That was John Black, he's a reporter for Mother. Okay, got my two seals, got my old ring, seal on the skulls. Here's a little bit of the stuff which people swear by. Gasket dressing, gasket ceiling compound with Johnson. I'm just going to pull a little bit around with it. I suppose just pull a little bit on the side here. Yamaha's that put them both facing out. See the other up where it's kind of reverse the direction on them. So they're kind of back to back. Okay. Back in the motor. Okay, cleaned up, cleaned the area out as best I could. Spread a little grease around there and 